Hello. Welcome to Wednesday. It's the end of Wednesday, because, as usual, we had truck today. Um, I didn't sleep great. Um, I went to bed early last night. Uh, I was in bed by, like, 9. I fell asleep around 9.30, 9.45. Then I woke up around 1.30. And then I never went back to sleep. So then I went in and did truck. Because it's truck day. And that went fine. Got home around like 8.40, 9 o'clock. Went to bed, as I do. And then I, uh, then I hung out with Cloud for a while. And all throughout the day, I ended up having three full meals. Which is unusual for me. I don't eat well to begin with, but the fact that I had three full meals today, it's pretty good. It's a step in the right direction. No, no, they weren't like the healthiest meal. It was Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches, Jersey Mike's, and cheddar cheese yakisoba. So not the greatest of food, but still something. Um, and like I said, three full meals, which is like unheard of. I typically average one, maybe one and a half. So I'm, I'm feeling a little weird. Full for once, <laughs> but like, it, it's weird to think that I actually did something like properly because I'm just used to like not <laughs> especially used to um just getting so into whatever I'm doing and forgetting to eat but uh, hey it's a nice change of pace hopefully I'm able to keep up with it but I have my doubts hi Welcome to Thursday. Today is a weird day because I haven't opened the store in quite some time. But one of the other managers, my co-workers, uh, started her vacation today. Which is fine. Everybody's entitled to their vacation. But when your co-workers go on vacation, somebody has to pick up the slack. And unfortunately for me, that somebody is me. Because <laughs> I'm the only one who, like, has the flexibility to be able to, like, do the shifts that she normally does. So I kind of, like, have to. <laughs> um, it's a little annoying. Because it's... My sleep schedule's already a wreck, and this is just going to make it worse. Um, so I'm not... I am not looking forward to it. At all. <sighs> but, here we are. <laughs> it is what it is. But I'll be, I'll be fine, I'll make it through. But for now... It... it <laughs> I'm expecting to get screwed over at least once while, while she's gone. And we'll cross that bridge when I get there, but I wholeheartedly expect it. <sighs> Hi. Welcome to Friday. Now let me tell you something that happened. I'm at work. Closing. Fine. Whatever. I got, uh... A text from mom. She says, hey, is the power out at work? Power's not out of work. Going around doing fine. Ultimately. Come to find out, the electric company cut us off. Obviously we have it back, otherwise you wouldn't be seeing lights here now. But when we were able to finally get into the account to see what was going on, 
back in March, they started randomly charging us a thousand extra per bill for no discernible reason. Now, if it was during the summer, you could say, okay, maybe they're charging extra because you're using more power for your air conditioners. We have central air. So while, yes, we are running the air more, it is not going to be a thousand dollars. But, um, so we eventually figure this out and mom calls be like, hey, the fuck, get us back on. So we pay, we pay what we know we actually owe and get it turned back on. And we're trying to still figure this out. But it's like, how did this go under the radar? That means mom's not actively checking it because she's the one who like manages the bills. And she, that means she wasn't like keeping an eye on it close enough. And like, she's had some health problems, so I get it. But like, if, if it's gone unnoticed this long, what else has gone unnoticed, you know? And that's a scary thought. So this has just been a lesson in uh, diligence, I guess. But like, god damn. <laughs> Was that like a, a concerning, like, oof. <laughs> Anyway, everything seems to be fine now. Hopefully, things stay fine. Hi. I'm supposed to go to a party today. And we didn't. And, like, it's not... It's not holy... How do, how do I? One of the things that has been going on with mom is that her ankles will fill with water and swell because of it, and it causes her pain. That's... It sucks, but it is true. Because of that, we ended up not going to the party. Which is very disappointing. Because it was my cousin's 21st birthday. You only get one of those. And it's really annoying that that happened. Because I was really much looking forward to it. Like, yeah, it wasn't going to be super crazy. It was just having pizza. But it's still, like, the sentiment behind it. So it is very infuriating that that didn't happen. I'm very upset. And at this point, there's nothing I can do about it. It's 3.30, but like, come on. This is going to bug me for the rest of the time. And I know it is because it is not the only thing that has bugged me that is similar to this. So I'm going to try, hope, that um, I am able to get my license before the next big thing because I can, I'll be able to drive myself to whatever thing. And I'm and I won't have to deal with this infuriation again. Do you know headaches suck? And I have a massive one right now. And I think I know what caused it, but it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't drinking, because we didn't go to the party, so I'm gonna guess I didn't, so I've been drinking a lot of caffeine, because my sleep schedule is six kinds of screwed up, and 
I think I didn't drink any yesterday. So I think my body is like having a withdrawal of the, um, from the caffeine. And I can't, I don't, I don't know the best way to like explain this, but like, even with my eyes closed, I'm like hyper aware of everything going on around me. That's how much like, that's how much my head is like, feels fucked. <laughs> <laughs> for lack of a better term. And now I have work. And I hope I can get through it. I'm gonna have to drink something with caffeine to, to make up for it, but... We'll see how it goes. So I got this out today. Which is really good because it's a little overdue. I um, <laughs> I definitely needed to get that going because I. What's the best way to explain this? I try to get these out Thursday afternoon. Excuse me, Thursday afternoon. Because a lot of the time, I have time to do it on Wednesday. And then I like, can put it up Thursday and, and have it come out in the afternoon when I know I'll be awake. This one is overdue because my work schedule is all over the place. Because I mentioned earlier this week that the one of the other managers is on vacation. She doesn't come back till the 4th. So I finally got this out. And thankfully, by the time you're seeing this, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but... It bugs me when these don't come out on time. So I try to get them out as soon as I can. And this one is almost ready to go. Or this, that one is out. This one is, today's Monday, soon. Hopefully it'll be on time, but I make no promises. Hi, welcome to Tuesday. I have a lot to tell you because this was a very long morning. So I go in and I open the store and everything is fine until I get tired because I closed last night. And the problem with that is that we get out at 10. <laughs> 10 p.m. is a late close to them be there at 7.30 in the morning. But I get a text saying, hey, the opener is not gonna be there tomorrow. You have to find somebody. I'm like, okay, I don't know people's availability. I need your help. My boss says, I'm not finding coverage on my day off. And I'm like, huh? Literally your job. You're the head of the store. You're the person who knows people's availability. I can try and call and text, but like, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> and then this is all happening when we have a super large truck, like double the size that we normally get. So not only am I going to be there doing a super large truck with only three people, I now have to figure out what's going on with, with closing, or the opening. So I'm like, what the fuck? 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 <laughs> oh, breathe. I'm home. I don't have anything figured out yet, but like, <laughs> I'll figure it out. Probably. Hopefully. This is gonna be a long week. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys are still doing a good one. I'll see you next week where I will hopefully not be as frazzled.